Uh, Dylan uh, is also, by the way, a substitute teacher. Not only does he produce this program Mondays and Tuesdays, he also works inside the school system, too. And I'm going to ask him to uh, join us on this uh, segment a little bit, too. We have Jackie along and uh, Pat Murphy for the entire hour. Pat's the president of the Board of Education. Good morning, Pat. Good morning. Jackie's the vice president, the VEEP. Good morning. Very glad to be here. The Julia Louis Dreyfus of the Board of Education. You're the VP. I, I try my best. Yeah. Can but can you dance like she did in Seinfeld? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Keeping my balance right at, at, as I age is the main topic for me. Make sure you do core work. Keep yeah, that I do. Balance. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always go. at the gym. Always at the gym. And uh, Dylan, are you are you on there yet, uh, Dylan? I am. Hello. Good, Good morning. When, Dylan, when do you get your assignment to find out where you teach tomorrow? Uh, usually at six o'clock in the evening is when the the calls start going out, and I, I could schedule it out uh, further in advance than that. But a lot of times, mo the average teacher is not going to put in their absence until the day before, unless they were, you know, planning for a while to be out that day. And uh, have there been any days when you've been available to substitute when your services have not been needed? Uh, when I've been available, but they haven't been needed. No, there's always there's always openings well you know it may not i prefer to sub at the older levels high school middle school so mm -hmm. maybe there's not that on the uh, on a particular day that I've, i'm looking to sub but there's always like i'd say at least five uh five to ten across the county uh, across grade levels and you substitute on wednesday thursdays and fridays yep are there are there courses at the high school level that you just say no i don't i don't want to teach those <laughs> uh there's, I'm a little more hesitant to take a special education position as a substitute because, you know, while I've received some training, there's, you know, it, there's, um, it's not at the level of an actual, you know, full-time special education teacher. So mm -hmm. sometimes, but, but it, there's, it's usually a type of position where there's a lot of like aids. You're not just by yourself in a classroom. So, I, you know, I've done it plenty of times for you know, Brian Kleppner, the Musselman High School golf teach a uh, golf coach who's also a special education teacher at Muslim and I've subbed for him a good bit all right uh, Jackie and Pat I'm going to ask you to interview Dylan a little bit here too and ask him some questions about substitute teaching in your system here Pat go first well I'm sure there are schools you'd rather not visit in your <laughs> capacity I'm not going to ask which ones but uh, would you confirm that there, there's definitely some that are better than others. Uh, maybe if there's the only, the only option uh, that day, but there's at least one school that's popping in my mind right now where I'm like, ah, I don't know. I don't know about going there. And a follow-up question. Are you uh, surveyed to uh, identify schools as such with your insight? Uh, I could identify them if I had to. No, I mean, I meant... Uh, oh, am I surveyed about that? Uh, yeah, I... I I think it's information that we're not gathering if it's if it's not being gathered. Uh, I haven't I haven't received any sort of survey in that in that way. You will be now. I think Pat's got an idea. Yeah, J well, Jackie. And to uh, expand upon, upon Pat's question, or just make a comment on that, maybe those particular schools that you're not interested in going or would not prefer to go to have more uncertified teachers or more uh, I don't want to say difficult students or challenged students than others yeah I think it's the students more so I wouldn't know for sure if it was had if what the you know how many non-certified teachers would be in that school but if you told me there was more in the schools that I'm thinking of then you know, it would it would make sense I have a big question for you guys okay my son, who's getting ready to graduate from DeSales University, told me he wants to teach. Oh, and he I wants do. to teach in Berkeley County. I'll get him an application pronto. Please. Um, he talked with somebody a couple weeks ago, and he hasn't. he's in the middle of the cross season, so he hasn't gotten a chance to do stuff. He's getting a business degree, but he's decided he wants to teach, and he wants to go into teaching and coaching, because that's what he feels like his calling is at this point. Um, he was told he can teach for a year. He'll be a permanent sub, I guess, for a year. And then he'll get a teaching certificate from there. Can you describe how that program works? And then I'm going to send him this recording later and let him listen to it again. But he's really excited to do it. And I'm, I mean, I'm excited to have him do it. Now, he has a little bit of an advantage. I mean, I know young teachers, first starting out, they don't get paid a lot. He will be living with me. So he won't have a lot of bills. 
um, when he starts off. But if y'all could just expound on how that program works, because I think that's fabulous. And I think a lot of people don't understand that if you have a degree in something else, you can become a teacher. There is a path to it. Yes, we uh, we were just in a training uh, a couple of weeks ago and, and had this uh, conversation. There are about three different approaches. I don't know them right off the top of my hand. Well, there's an alternative certification process, yes. which is probably what he's... Uh, I think that's what he talked to somebody yes. at the, county, at the yeah. Berkeley County offices about. Um, yes, but uh, we can get you the information, but I, I'd rather not say something. So I may make a mistake on here. Uh, but yes, we can get, uh, we have other paths to get into the classroom. You do have to have some preparation to be in the classroom. The, the uh, uh, lesson planning and that, that sort of thing. Right. Yeah. Well, and he's going to have, yeah, he'll exactly. have that in May, knock on wood. But back in, the, back in the day, people actually had to go back to college, and I don't think you have to do, uh, that is, uh, you can do it uh, online and do other types of programs that are uh, offered through the colleges. Yeah. yeah, he said it's, I mean, it's, the way I was explaining to him, a lot of on-the-job training and, yes. and getting you through, because they want, I mean, obviously we, uh, we, we don't have a lot of, we don't have enough teachers. We have a dearth of teachers. Right. Um, we have a dearth of people who understand the word dearth, unfortunately, because we don't have enough teachers. Dearth, that's the third planet from the sun, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's uh, right next to Pluto and Uranus, but... The, um, Is there a joke there somewhere? There was. I tried to hold it back, but I couldn't. Um, yeah, no, just let it go. The, uh, no, but he's, I mean, he's really excited. And I mean, I think, I think that more needs to be sent out to colleges, especially in this state where we have a brain drain, where a lot of people leave the state because there aren't a lot of jobs for the college-educated uh, students coming through. I think there needs this needs to be put out there. I mean, I think some kind of an advertising campaign by Berkeley County to the colleges and, and to college students saying, hey, there is a way. You're a business student or you're, you're an engineering student or you're this or you're that. There is a way to become a teacher 